Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we've got uh, Hellmark Station Endless Gunslinger. I'm gonna go and try and get to uh, wave 15 at least. See how it goes. Shouldn't be that hard. We're playing on hard, so everything is super, super slow right now. And uh, I believe this stuff does speed up going forward. Uh, you get the, the new Zeds and all that stuff, like the. Um, the more challenging Zeds as, uh, as time passes, but I'm not sure if you get extra HP or not. Honestly, I'm not sure how the scaling of uh, of Endless really works exactly, but uh, we're gonna go for well, at least 20 minutes, and then after 20 minutes we'll probably just call it, uh, unless we die earlier, in which case, you know, that's, that, that's, that's what that is, right? Um, but we gotta get the uh, we gotta get the one endless run done just so that we can, you know, be done with the that that little weekly or sort of seasonal objective thing. Today I, uh, you know, yesterday I woke up feeling good. You know, yesterday was uh, was the day I woke up and I felt I felt good and I was happy and I was smiling and I was like, man, we're off to we're off to a good start today. Today is like the exact opposite. <laughs> Which is, uh, it's entirely my fault, because I've been reading, um, what is it, Genius Doctor Black Belly Miss, or whatever, um, and it's got me, it's got me hooked, it's got me hooked real good, and I, I can't resist reading it, so I, I was reading up until like 3.15 last night, and then, um, finally fell asleep. And uh, I got up at like 9, so it's like really just not that much sleep, and I'm like, look, you could have you gone to bed at a decent time. It's, it's funny, because yesterday I was even telling my, uh, or it's not, maybe not yesterday, but like the day before or something like that. I was, tell I was telling a, a buddy that were, like, I just want to stay up and play, but like I gotta, I also want to gotta go to sleep, but I really want to stay up and play. I'm like, look, you just, you go to bed, you wake up earlier, and, and you start it there. Either way, you know, you're going to be... You're gonna be sleeping either way, so so make sure that you you at least get the sleep that you need, and then uh, you know once you're done with that, you can you can work on the, the leisure time. And it's it's kind of a do as I say, not as I do sort of situation, because I definitely last night I definitely stayed up a, a wee bit too late, and uh, I'm suffering the consequences of it now. I am, which is. Which is unfortunate, but you know, it's not that bad. Uh, I got uh, you know seven hours of content to record and stream today, so we'll just uh, push through that. I was planning on going out to do some grocery shopping today, because my parents—well, not my parents, but my family—is uh, finally not home today. I'm finally home alone in the morning again. My uh, my mother was sent home from work one day because uh, when they took her temperature, it was just it was above the threshold, so she had to get a COVID test. She's fine. So everybody's gone back to work because, you know, because my mother was out, everybody in the house was out, you know? And, um, because it's like, well, if, if your mother has COVID, then you can't be here because you probably have it too and you have to make sure that you don't have it. So my mother had to get it before anybody else could go back to work and it's not like they could go and get a test because, like, yeah, the, the most efficient part is, is to go to the source and be like, well, do you have it? No? Okay, well, then everybody's fine. You know, if the only person who's showing symptoms doesn't have it, then uh, then everybody's fine, right? Um, anyway, so they, uh, they've, they've gone to work today, which is, is nice. I'm able to do some laundry today. I said it before, I don't, I don't like, like, I don't do, I, uh, I do laundry typically in the, uh, in the daytime when everybody's at work, just so that, uh, the noise of the laundry machine, because it's like in our living room, basically, the laundry machine. Um, so if you're doing laundry while people are home and they're watching TV or something like that, like that's that's right beside them and it's really annoying this is why I so I try to do laundry uh, typically tip typically uh, during the daytime when everybody's at work I will uh, I'll clean my clothes then and uh, or or middle of the night if I'm if I'm up but I guess I could have done it last night since I was up but I wasn't planning on it you know um, but I like to uh, do my laundry while nobody's home. So while there are people home, I was like, you know what, I can just wait a couple of days before I do some laundry here. It's not the end of the world. Um, and, uh, you yeah, know, it's, it's fine. So, 
But today I get to I get to do laundry. I was gonna go out and do some grocery shopping afterwards, cause clean clothes, good opportunity to go out and do some some shopping. And uh, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to at this point, cause I'm already I'm already pretty tired. And then after I uh, after I've recorded and streamed for for you know seven hours today, I'm probably gonna be even more tired, cause it's it's tiring. <laughs> and, uh, and then 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 I, I don't know if I really want to go for a drive. To, to the grocery store and then pick out stuff and put it away because you have to come home and then like clean your groceries and sanitize everything and oh, it's just a major pain in the butt you know and I'm like do I really want to do that today or would I rather just wait another couple of days before I go and do grocery shopping I've got you know fine to last a couple of days at least um, the thing is is my fridge is mostly empty since I got it um, which you know you really don't want to have because that's you know, it's having the stuff in your fridge that is, is what makes it efficient to run the fridge, you know? Um, so I, uh, I gotta I got start filling it up with, uh, with stuff, and I gotta figure out what stuff I'm gonna fill it up with, but there's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if today's the day. Well, we'll see. After the stream's done and all that, I'll, uh, I'll see. It's, uh, it's 10 o'clock right now. I'm getting started at the time that I want to get started recording. And that means that we will probably end up seeing, um, we'll probably see everything being finished before the stream. So I won't have any responsibilities after the stream other than maybe some thumbnails and stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, possible that I could, I could feel up to, to going for, for a drive. I mean, the thing is, I don't like driving when I'm tired, because I feel like, I mean, I, I, I've, I've, you know, for for me, driving while you're tired isn't that different from driving while you're drunk. Um, you know, because I, I I feel like either way, whether you're drunk or tired, your 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 ability to understand what's happening around you and, and react to things is affected in a negative manner. So to to be driving while you're while you're be driving while you're um, tired is is, is a, an irresponsible decision to me if it's going to be affecting your your performance. Uh, anything that that affects your 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 ability to drive is, is a bad thing to be driving while you're affected by it. In in my opinion, so y'all you know, have to see how I'm feeling after uh, after we're done with the day. I want to go and do some grocery shopping today because I like I just want to get it over with. You know, God really. How many of those shots did I miss? Um, so I want to get it over with. I want to fill up the fridge. I want to have the food that I want to make, and um, you know, get get started on that kind of stuff, which would be which would be really really nice, you know. Um, but I don't know. If, if, if I'm too tired to drive, if I don't feel like it's a safe idea, then you know, obviously I'm not going to do that because I'm in. I'm a responsible driver. I'm a, I'm a responsible driver. I. Uh, I don't like being an irresponsible driver. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, one one weird thing that happens to me some days when I'm uh, when I'm recording and streaming and doing all this is sometimes at the end of it, I just feel really energized, which is which is weird, very very weird to me. Um, but sometimes, yeah, I just feel like by the time I'm done with it, I just feel full of energy. Like, yeah. I can I can take on the world now. So maybe maybe that happens today. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, man? Um, I, I feel like it only happens if I'm not recording after stream. If I am recording after stream, then I'm like dead. And if I'm uh, if I get all the recording done before stream, I, I mean I usually feel pretty good, honestly. Um, you know, just to to finish up with the stream because the stream I, I enjoy the stream more than I enjoy the recording. Like I enjoy them both. But the stream to me is just it's a, it's a little bit uh, for for me personally I I kind of I kind of reduce the uh, the quality standards I have on it and uh, makes it a little bit easier for me to do it because it's you know three hours of, of recording <laughs> of of streaming rather not recording um, which is like you know that's a lot right and. Uh, so I guess I guess I I I, uh, 
I, I, I try to I try to wear it down a little bit, just to make it a little bit easier for me, because otherwise, three hours of streaming is exhausting, even even as I'm doing it, uh, you know, in a in a manner that I personally get to uh, enjoy a little bit more, or, or at least get to not feel as exhausted by. Um, but you know, it, it's uh, I don't know, it's it. So, so once, anyway, once, once the stream's done, since I kind of enjoy that a little bit more, and I'm kind of more relaxed as I'm doing it, um, I, I guess that once I'm done with it, I'm just like, ah, good day. And if I have to go and then also record after that, then I'm like, yeah, I'm just tired. You know, so it kind of depends on, on whether I get my responsibilities done in time or not, which is fair. But it also makes the day take longer if I have to record after stream, you know? Whereas if I get it done at, on, on stream, then I've done it five right if I get it done if I, if, I, if I get everything done before stream then I'm done my work day at, at 5 right and if I get it done after stream then I'm done my work day at like 536 you know and there's, there's just there's just a clear winner on which side of that is uh, is better <laughs> and uh, it's definitely the um, the getting everything done at 5 thing is, uh, is very very nice so Hoping to get everything done before the stream today is basically the moral of the story. We should be able to. I'm hoping. I'm thinking. Should be fine. Should be totally doable. We'll uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes going forward, but I, I think it's pretty pretty gosh darn doable. It's moments like these where I wish I was a commando. It's moments like these where I wish Edars had their own spawn groups. Why do you guys get to spawn when uh, when it's a stalker or a husk wave? You know? Tell me why. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like stalker waves anyway, man. Stalker waves in general just kind of suck because I can't see them. And I don't know, it's like, uh, the thing with stalker waves is you almost feel, like, broken. You know what I mean? Like, they almost feel like, uh, because cause you're fighting invisible things, so it doesn't, it, you don't get, I don't get the same feeling of, like, KF2 from it, you know what I mean? Because they're just invisible. Everything I'm fighting is invisible. And it, uh, it's less fun. It it is genuinely less fun. As a commando, I think it's it's more fun when you get the stalker waves. Um, but as anything else, I think that it's just it's kind of like it's like you're just fighting a whole bunch of like invisible things. They're not hard to kill, right? So like you're not going to die. Probably, I mean, you might die because of the Edars, but like, I mean, look, if if uh, you know one stalker. Amongst a whole bunch of other things, will mess you up. If every enemy that's coming at you is is definitely a stalker, I mean, I'm not really personally having any trouble seeing them. Um. Anyway, it's just uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like them. I don't like the stalker waves. I don't like fighting invisible things in, in games, generally speaking. They're not scary. They're just I don't I don't get the same feeling of uh, badassery that that I get from from normal KF2 because I can't see what I'm killing. You know, and it feels bad. Feels bad, man. Anyway, that's how my days kind of started off with. Off to a, off to a fantastic start. <laughs> That's a lie, of course. But I mean, it's you know, even even a bad day is still is a better day. I mean, the way I the way I was kind of see it, right, is I've had some pretty bad days in my life. I used to be majorly depressed and and uh, and all that. So even even though I'm having a bad day today, I'm still like yeah. But like it's way better than like a normal day back in the back in the past. So. I don't know, bad day, I can still I can, I can still get behind it. It's not that bad. You know, it's it's fine. 
Would I, uh, would I like it to be better? I mean, of course. You know, every, everybody wants their days to be good days, right? But you can't have every day being a good day. Some days, some days have to be bad days. And today, today is a bad day for me. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Because my life's still good. Tomorrow will be another good day. We have like a billion cloakers, dude. And another cloaker right there. Because that's a cloaker too. For some reason. Okay, you. Problem. Um, I'm liking this map a lot, honestly. Did I even... I did not get a screenshot of this map. I'll have to do that this time then. I haven't had to upload or make any thumbnails for it, but I think the next video that goes live is of this map. The first one, where you played as a commando with the, the minigun and it failed horribly. That is the next video that goes live. I believe. I hope. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I'm getting like seven views on, uh, on each video right now. And, uh, you know, on the weekends I get none and I just, uh, it just, it confuses me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not complaining. I just, I don't get it. I don't know what's happening. This place is pretty gross, though. Reminds me of my, uh, reminds me of a school. That's what it reminds me of. That little, uh, corridor here. This reminds me of a school. It's like, uh... You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what this whole like corridor here is reminding me of? Really, like honestly, genuinely. So school during Halloween, when when the kids try to like dress it up and make it look scary and spooky. That's that that's what this is reminding me of. Okay, this is 100%. You know, you flatten this staircase out. It's just a uh, it's just a spooky hallway in uh, like middle school, secondary school or whatever, and. Uh, the kids have tried to dress it up and make it look all spooky with a whole bunch of uh, red ribbons and stuff. <laughs> that's that's what it's reminding me of. Don't tell me you don't see it. Don't tell me you don't see it. Cause I I I'll, I'll call you I'll call you out on that. That's a lie. What do we got? Anything special? Anything special? Anything special? Nothing special, dude. All right. Yeah, we've got a few more um, things to do. I'm not sure, actually. We might not. Um, depends on how many Zeds we decapitate, I guess, in this uh, in this episode on Hellmark Station. If we're able to get to the uh, decapitate a billion Zeds, 600 Zeds. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna be doing that. So we're gonna be doing this and this in this episode. And then the other one is just kill a whole bunch of Zeds on any map, which I'll actually might also get done here, right? Because we're going to be doing, what, another 400 Zed kills, you think? In this episode? I mean, it's possible. You know, it's possible. I don't know if it's likely. But it's possible. It could happen. I don't, I don't know how many Zeds we get in these, uh, these next few waves. Yeah, we're only really going to be making it to wave 15 and then just giving up because, um... Look, I, just, I don't have the time to record an endless run right now. I don't really, um, want to record an endless run right now. So, like, I'm just not going to do it. Maybe, you know, some days we might do an endless run. We might go as far as we can, you know, just just make it go and take it as, 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 as high as we can take it, you know? That might be a thing we do someday. That's not what, really what I want to do right now, though. I'm, I'm only doing the endless run because it's, uh... Because the game asked me to, you know? They asked me to get to round 15, I'll get to round 15. And then after that, I'm just trying to meet my, my quota for time. More than anything else, you know, and uh, then we'll just kill ourselves. Okay, so there's that one done. Got all our decaps. I guess we can stop decapitating stuff now, right? Yeah, we don't have to decapitate anything anymore. I'm just kidding, of course we're still going to get to the cap Of course we're still going to pop the heads off of everything. It's hard, it's weird having trouble with words, honestly. It's weird, because... I don't know. Some words I have trouble with, but like, in my brain I can say them fine. Like, decapitated? I can say that fine, you know? And in my brain, even when I was having trouble with there, I could still say it in my brain just fine. Um, like, in my, in my mind's ear. I could, uh, I could hear it. I 
could hear it being said, I could say it in my, my mind's ear. And, um... Yeah, I couldn't I could say it. Weird. It's a weird feeling. It's a normal feeling. It's like, uh, it's not it's not an unusual <laughs> feeling for me. But it is a strange feeling. I've never been up here. Okay, don't make flashing things that I can't destroy, please. I hate it. I hate it. I didn't even know this place existed. There's probably like a ton of stuff that we're not even seeing in this map. How many? Did we get a siren wave? Is that what's happening here? Did I miss that we're having a siren wave? Yes, I did. Because there's just no way you're getting this many sirens without it being a siren wave. That's just not happening, dude. So our armor this time is useless, but our bullets this time are very useful. As long as I can actually shoot stuff in the face. You know what? I can just chill out right here. Nothing will ever be able to make it to me, dude. And there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know. On, uh, on the Genius Doctor Black Belly Miss or whatever it is that, uh, that I'm reading. I don't know. Every, every site I try to read it at has a different name for it. <laughs> it's just idea. How are you guys going to choose to translate it? Um, I'm at like chapter 1400 or something like that. And there's like... 3,500 chapters or something. And it's been it's been distracting me pretty hardcore for the last, I don't know, a few weeks. <laughs> as, as it's been like just my obsession. And, uh... Like... I just, I, I look at it and I think, okay, you know, once once I'm done with this, I'll be able to... And this and this is this is definitely a lie, by the way. Once I'm done with this, I'll be able to um, you know take a break and 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 focus on other things in my life. That's a lie. I will just find another web novel to read. <laughs> so definitely definitely a lie. That's 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 the that's the uh, the loop that I do. You know, finish web novel, find another web novel, and I just I just kind of work it into my day. But. Uh, Normally, I don't read ones that are this long, right? Like, it's, it's only very recently that I started reading, like, uh, Chinese, like, wuxia or uh, shensha kind of stuff. And um, I know how to pronounce those now, by the way. It's, it's like wuxia or like wuxia. wuxia. I, don't know, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know how to do it properly, but uh, it's definitely like wuxia and uh, shensha. But um, the, the X is in it. It's like, it's like this weird, like, G S X Z. SH sound, which is, is like the best way that I can describe it, but I really just don't know how to do it. It's like uh, Chencha or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter that I know how to pronounce them perfectly because it, it, it really is not important. But I know I know how I know that uh, at least trying to be like not dumb about it, you know, Musha and uh, Shensha are fine. Um, anyway, uh, it's only fairly recently that I started reading, like, Chinese, you know, hero um, web novels, which are long. <laughs> which are really, really long. I normally would read the, um, the manhwa, but, uh, not the, um, not the, not the novels, not the source material. Um, I usually, I just found them too superfluous. Personally, I found them too. I found that I felt that they dragged on too long, and I didn't want to read them. Uh, something in my mind has switched in the last, I don't know, month or two, and I'm like, "Heck yeah, dude! Drag it on as long as you want. I want, I want to keep reading." <laughs> and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's strange, but you know, hey, it is, it is what it is, right? <laughs> um. So, so normally when I would when I would be reading something, it would take like, yeah, you know, there'd, there'd be like 300 or 400 chapters or something like that in like a, in a long story that I was reading, and uh, take me a few days to read through it all, you know, maybe a week. Then I'd be done, and I take I take a couple of days break before I found something else, you know, because um, I don't I don't like look for them, I just find them. And then I'm like, yeah, I'll read this one. It's just it, 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 by through through what I do on on my day to day basis, um, 
these things, you know, they, they exist in the, in the, in the realm of, of things that I do, you know, the, the communities I take part in and uh, the hobbies that I have and stuff, it's, uh, they're there, right? So, um, you know, tip, typically when I would do like a, uh, Japanese stuff, it would be like, you know, 300, 400 chapters, whatever, even, even, uh, like Korean, uh, novels would be at least of the type that I read. Like, I'm sure, obviously, there are Chinese novels that are also, you know, in that uh, sweet spot of like 300, 400 chapters, but I just, that's not the kind of stuff that I read, you know what I mean? Whereas for the, uh, the Japanese and the, um, for the Japanese and the uh, Korean stuff, like, that is what I read with the, um, yeah, we can just step outside of that. Dude, this is like a hard fight. Um, for for the Japanese and the Korean novels, that is what I read. Whereas for the the Chinese novels, what I read is typically the stuff that's like three thousand <laughs> chapters long. Um, and uh, so so ba bas basically, what what ends up happening is when I'm reading like a Japanese or a, a Korean uh, web novel that's that's a couple hundred chapters long, and it takes me maybe a week at the most to to fully read through it. Um, you know, it's, uh, by, by the time I'm done reading it, I, I, I haven't necessarily found another thing to read. It might be like a week, it might be another couple of weeks before I find, um, another, I want to continue this topic, so we're going to continue another little bit here. Um, you know, it might be like a week or two weeks or whatever until I've happened to stumble upon, um, another web novel that I'd want to read, right? thing is once you extend the length of the the novel by like months i I've, I've naturally found other things to, to 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 read over that time that i'm like oh yeah i'll read that next you know so i've already got stuff lined up i don't know what it's called but i i i, uh, I remember where i found them so i'll just i'll just go back and and find them again um but like you know, I've got uh, I've got lists of things that I want to, to read once I'm uh, once I'm done with this one. Just just because it's taken me so long to read it now, that um, you know I uh, I've I've stumbled upon other things to read, and uh, you know over the course of the the last one I read, which was um, Mysterious Ghost Doctor, um, or Mesmerizing Ghost Doctor, I believe. You know, and then I had this one, and then like you know. The, the list just keeps growing instead of uh, me reading through them, you know, because because when, like when, when yeah, so, so when the when they were like 400, 500 chapters long, or whatever, it, it would take me a week to read it, and then uh, typically I would find a thing every like two weeks, three weeks, or something like that that I want to read. When it takes me a month, month and a half to read through it, I found like multiple things to read as I'm reading through the one, and it, it just the list just keeps growing, it never gets smaller, so. The, the way that it's affected me, the uh, the whole interest in the, the Ushia and the, uh, the Shensha kind of stuff is uh, just because I, I end up with um, a constant reading stat status, you know, or state, um, as, as opposed to the, the on and off with the, uh, with the other stuff where I, would, where I would read something, stumble upon something, you know, a week or two later, and... Uh, end up reading that and then get obsessed with that for a bit and then stumble upon something a week or two later again and you know the cycle repeats and, th and now the cycle has changed because I'm I'm reading the wuxia and the, uh, the shensha and uh, it's a uh, I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing because it's not um, it's not really affecting my ability to uh, no it's not affecting my ability to make videos uh, it is affecting my ability to enjoy making the videos but that's that's you know, <laughs> I just have to work on that part of it and make sure I'm going to bed at a good time, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, anyway, I don't want to just suicide because I don't know if that actually, like, I just want to jump over this. I don't know why I can't. Um, so I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, it's been, it's been fun is, is really the moral of the story. I've been enjoying it, you know. I like uh, I like reading this stuff and uh, I'm happy to so kill me dude let's go <laughs> I 
<laughs> Stretch, man. First video down. Woo, look at me go. Only got another five more to go. <laughs> Annie Hoozle. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment, I don't know, your favorite your favorite web novel or manga or something. Or, I don't know, your favorite story or book or movie or TV show or something. I don't know. What kind of stuff do you like to read or watch or do? I don't know. Anyway, bye. <laughs>